This demonstration will provide an overview of the financial dimensions in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Subsequent demonstrations will review how to set up dimensions, how to use dimensions, and how to report on them. Dimensions are sub-accounts to the general ledger chart of accounts. They allow an account to be broken down into additional detail for reporting and analysis. Let's take Account 3000 as an example. Account 3000 has a balance of $100. This balance can be analyzed by dimension. Microsoft Dynamics AX contains three standard dimensions, Cost Center, Department, and Purpose. The Cost Center dimension in this example is used to represent the location. The balance of $100 is broken down by each location. The Department and Purpose dimensions will break down the same $100 balance into user-defined dimensions. In this example, the departments are Sales and Administration, and the purposes are Product Line 1 and Product Line 2. What would happen if we did not have dimensions? Without dimensions, multiple accounts would need to be created for each combination of Account, Cost Center, Department, and Purpose. Using our previous example, we would need to create 16 General Ledger accounts instead of one. For Account 3000, we have an account that represents each location – Chicago, Boston, Dallas, and Atlanta. Within each location, we have an account for each department – Sales or Admin. And finally, within each department, we have an account for the purpose – Product Line 1 and Product Line 2. Using dimensions, we will reduce the number of accounts that need to be created. This will not only reduce the maintenance required to maintain the chart of accounts, it will also reduce the size of reports and inquiries. Typically, dimensions are only used for the profit and loss accounts. They are not used on the balance sheet accounts. Do all profit and loss accounts use every dimension? Probably not. The Microsoft Dynamics AX dimensions are independent of each other. An account can utilize every dimension or none at all. Validation rules can be set up in the chart of accounts to indicate if the dimension is optional or required. Validation rules can also be used to only allow certain dimensions to be entered for particular accounts. And finally, the validation rules can be used to create default values. For example, Let's say our departments are set up as Sales, Admin, and HR. The Marketing Expense account should only be used by the Sales Department. We can restrict the account to only allow the Sales Department to be used. We can also take it a step further and default the, dimension, the, the Department dimension to Sales, so that every time this account is used in Microsoft Dynamics AX, the Department dimension will be automatically populated. Office supplies can be used by Sales, Admin, or HR. We can create validation lists allowing any of the three departments to be used with the account Office Supplies. Travel expenses must always have a location and department specified. These two dimensions can be set up as required for the travel accounts and the purpose dimension can be set up as optional. When processing transactions in Microsoft Dynamics AX, the user will not be allowed to post a transaction to the travel accounts without specifying both the cost center and the department. Corporate taxes do not require that any dimension be entered, so the account can be set up with all dimensions as optional. When dimensions are not specified, the balance will appear in the ledger account but will not be able to be broken down by any of the dimensions. If a report is printed for a specific dimension, the balance will not appear. It will only appear when the report is printed for all dimensions. In addition to setting default dimensions in the chart of accounts, default dimensions can be set up for customers, vendors, items, work centers, and several other Microsoft Dynamics AX data files. In this example, customer number 2001 has a default dimension for department. 
when a sales order is entered, these values will default into the order. Item 1173 has a default dimension for department. When a sales order, purchase order, or production order is entered for this item, the department dimension will default. Setting up default values will help expedite data entry and ensure that the correct dimensions are used. When setting up dimensions, it is important to think of how information is going to be viewed by those individuals who are responsible for the financial viability of the company. What requirements exist for financial reporting? The account number should be used to represent the main reporting unit. The dimensions are a breakdown of that unit. Cost center can be used to represent a location, branch, or segment of the company. Department can represent internal or external departments. The purpose can represent the purpose of the sale, the inventory category, or business segment. These dimensions that are explained can be renamed based on your company needs. After you outline the chart of accounts and dimension structure, it may be helpful to set up a test company and enter test postings to verify the structure you have created will generate the desired reports. This concludes the Financial Dimensions Overview. Please review the remaining demonstrations for Financial Dimensions Setup, Processing, and Reporting.